Hey there, my name is Dana and I'm an intern architect. That means I'm on the path to becoming a fully licensed architect and if I apply myself, I can get there by the end of the year. Uh, I wanted to make this video so that anyone who's interested in this field knows what to expect or if you just want to know what I'm up to, this is the video. Currently, I'm working full time and I work in the office four times a week and then on Fridays, I work remote right here at my desk. At my office, we do a variety of different types of architecture, which might include institutional, commercial, residential, but I would say we focus primarily on infill housing and then larger homes on big plots of land or like rural areas. For this video, I'm going to invent a client and then explain the steps that we would take. Let's say hypothetically that someone reaches out to the lead architect at my office. They have a tiny home that they are moving from their parents' backyard to a rural area. They want to make some interior adjustments, fix the flow, and revamp the entire exterior. We're going to pretend that the layout for the existing home is the same as my apartment. And look at this! I found the layout for this apartment online. But joke's, joke's on, me. on me! Because it's off. It's slightly off. And I'm gonna have to measure it all by myself. If I have the as-built plans, I'll add the dimensions directly on the drawing. We're gonna pretend I never found these plans. First, I'll draw the layout completely out of scale. and then start measuring either with a measuring tape or a digital measure. I'm gonna get as many dimensions as I can and take a lot of pictures because even though I can return, I really wanna get it all in one go. Now I'll have to translate that on the computer in AutoCAD. I'm going to make a very basic design plan and send it to the architect on this project. I'm also going to create a 3D model in SketchUp. Personally, I think the 3D model is very helpful to the client, the architect, the technologist, and everyone involved to see exactly what we expect the outcome to be. And it's also my favorite part of the job because it's so fun. The architect will draw over the plans that I've sent them and on views of the model. Then once I've received those drawings, I can start making the changes. Something like that. There's some back and forth, tweaking it until it is presentable to the client. I am sometimes involved in the meetings with the clients, but I'll produce some renderings so that the client can visualize and the architect can better sell or express their vision. With the client's feedback, we then make some more alterations. And I feel like these changes don't really end until the house is complete. Once we finish with the design, we start with the technical drawings and sometimes the technologist or technician will get involved at this point. But as an intern, I'm learning the basics of construction and to be a great architect, you have to know, you have to know everything. <laughs> in this phase, I'm mostly working in 2D, which is not as fun as 3D modeling, but I have to do it. So I'm not going to get too deep into the technical side, but every line in a wall, every squiggly, every hatch represents something that the contractor will put up in the building. We also have to have an understanding of structural, electrical, mechanical, and other types of engineering. Luckily, we work with engineers to ensure everything is safe and built properly. Hopefully this gives you more of an insight of what an intern architect does. Let me know in the comments if there are any architecture related videos you'd like to see or more you'd like explained and I'll be updating you on my progress to becoming an architect. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!